Welcome to Android Tip Series. Today I'd like to talk about sharing code between local and instrumentation tests, because they often use similar data. Local tests can be run on local environment like laptop or workstation. Instrumentation tests require device or emulator. The main problem is that we should split local and instrumentation tests into different folders. It means that we should duplicate this data. So we can create factory which will generate this data for us, or we can use predefined set of data. Fortunately, we can create a common test folder where we will store test data which will be available for local and instrumentation tests. Recently was announced that we can run Espresso test with RoboElectric framework. However, we would like to avoid test duplication and fortunately it's possible. Let's start with sharing test data between different test categories. I want to show you a few test cases from MapNotes application which is available on GitHub. The link to the repository you can find below the video. Let's take a look at sign-in presenter test class and as you can see here we use some constants like correct email, password, auth users and much more. When we take a look at sign-in activity test class we can see that we use pretty similar constants like correct email and password. But in practice two different files store pretty similar data and ideally we would like to avoid code duplication and have only one storage and this storage we will use for local and instrumentation tests. Let's try to compare test data and instrumentation test data objects. And as you can see, these files are similar. Let's try to avoid code duplication and try to fix this problem. We need to start from changing project structure to the project. It helps us to see the same structure as we have on a disk. The next step is to create common test folder in SRC directory. In my case, it's a shared test folder. If you use default project structure, you should create a Java folder. Inside it, we can create our package. In my case, it's com.alex.mapnotes. The next step is to add changes to build.gradle file, and we need to add source sets category into Android one. As we want to add uh, our shared test folder for local and instrumentation tests, we need to add two subcategories, its test and Android test. To each category, we should add java.srcdirs plus equals SRC shared test slash Java. After it, we can sync our project and local and instrumentation test can see any file in shared test folder. Finally, I can move test data to shared test folder and remove instrumentation test data file. In my project, I need to update all my imports of instrumentation tests. Finally, I can rerun all my tests to be sure that everything works correctly. As alternative of using predefined set of data, we can use factories, which will generate test data for us, like test data factory. In this factory, we have different functions. First of all, we should have functions which will generate pretty simple data for us, like random data for string, double, integer, and so forth. And specific functions which will generate specific information for our application, like email, nodes, locations, user, and so forth. Of course, you should choose which solution is better for you. Let's start with sharing test code and running the same scenarios with local and instrumentation tests. First of all, we need to check dependency and we should have them for Espresso, RoboElectric, Android X runners and extensions. But we should also check that dependencies for Espresso, Android X runner and extensions are available for local and instrumentation tests. The next step is to update in test option subcategory of Android category in build.gradle file. We should have include Android resource equals true and return default values equals true. Finally, we can sync the project. The last step is to move login activity test suite to shared test folder. Before it, we need to create login pack. It means that we can move a login activity test uh, to the same package as we had previously. When we try to run it, we can see that we have problem and it's problem with dependencies. We also should move test app module and fake map fragment uh, to the shared test folder. It means that after it, we will have all dependencies available for local and instrumentation tests. The next step is to create configuration for running login activity test as local and login activity test as instrumentation test. Finally, we can run our test and compare results. As you can see, for running login activity test as local test, we need almost 11 seconds. And for running login activity test as instrumentation test, we need only 5 seconds. 
To sum up, sharing code between tests help us remove code duplication, run UI test cases as local and instrumentation tests. However, I think that running UI test cases as instrumentation tests give us much more benefits. First of all, it's execution time. In addition to it, we can run in UI tests on different devices simultaneously. So, how can we achieve it? First of all, we need to create a folder for shared data and tests. After it, we need to update build.gradle file. The next step is to move test data and test cases to our common test folder. And finally, we can clean up our project. Thank you for watching. I hope you find it useful.